What's up, guys? Gary Ejene, T-Shirt Design School. And in this exciting and titillating episode of T-Shirt Design School, we are going to reproduce this t-shirt not because we like biting styles but because i'm going to show you a very easy way in illustrator to mimic neon light all right so here goes let's get into it first thing that we're going to do is you could go try to find this font which i tried to but it costs money and we don't want to spend money on a font you know what i'm saying it's really great things that you could be spending money on like products at t-shirt design school so let's go over to google and i already put it in miller light logo and you can see boom we have it right here you just want to look and find a good oh what's this this is great and it has the miller light already there so just we're just going to take this one and we're just going to take it we're going to throw it up here and bam we have that so now we're going to go into illustrator okay where's my illustrator come on baby bam that oh it's we're restarting here we go illustrator is open so we're going to open a new file we're going to make this orientation uh like this and there we have it all right so we're going to take that light we're going to pull it over here we're going to make it bigger a little bit bigger and there you have that light okay so we're gonna go right here to object and we're gonna go down to uh, image trace make and expand and look at that the, what that did was it changed it from a photograph to vector all right and if you want to know the difference between vectors and photographs go up to this card over here and check out that video okay don't have time to get into all that right now okay just go look at that damn it okay we're gonna get rid of all this other stuff around it because we don't need all this stuff this is just this is all this is just gonna get on the way okay we don't need that matter of fact we don't need this e either okay uh, okay so we're gonna take this and we're gonna move this aside because they still make see there it is there's that white and i'm gonna go right here to select same fill color case there's any more white creeping around delete all right, so there we have our lit. I mean, it's just that simple, folks. It is just that simple. We're going to make this bigger. And the only thing I'm going to do with this one is right here, I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to make these a little bit more straight at the bottom here. And this one, too. Now, if you want to know about all this stuff like anchor points, I don't really have time to explain this right now. But if you go to T-Shirt Design School and get that Illustrator course, I go over all of this stuff in detail. All right. So we're almost done. Just like that. Just like that, guys. So what I want to do is I want to bring this one over. I want to bring this one over so that we'll have our little muse. So we, we, you know, we want to keep him in our sight. So we'll, so we know what we're working with over here. What we, what, what, what's, the, what's our end goal? Or maybe we'll come up with something that looks better. Okay. So right now we're going to take this lit and we're going to go over here to this blue and we're going to click on that blue and it made an outline right here. So we're going to click right here on this fill and we're going to make that bl bl uh, blank. All right. So now we just have blue. It's already starting to look like it. OK, so we're going to go right here. Select it all. We're just going to bump that up. We're just going to bump that bad boy up. Look at that. Yes. OK. Up. Oh, eh, maybe it's a little bit too bumped up. Let's go down to seven. All right. OK, that looks good. And we're, all, we're pretty much almost done, but we want to make it glow. OK, we want to make it glow. So what I'm going to do here is, is just so we can see it, I'm going to put a black background, right? I'm going to put a box, make it black, move it to the back, get rid of that outline, lock it down so that we can see when we start to play with this. So the only really difference between this, a couple of things is, is really that glow. So we're just going to click on this and there's some already in here. You want to go to effect. Then you want to go down to stylize and you go down outer glow. You click on that. And pretty much your work is done, baby. Your work is done right here. So right here, you want to click on this little 
black box okay that's the color of your outer glow you want to click on that and you want to go in here you can go you can make your outer glow red or blue or whatever but we're going to click right here on these blues okay we want to find a closer kind of a blue and then we want to click preview so oh first we want to shoot well let's go over here. it's a little bit lighter i'll say right there is fine we click okay and now we want to click preview and there you have it you already have like a little bit of a glow the opacity on that is 75 percent so we're just gonna bump that up a little bit because we want that glow to be i mean we want that glow to be glowing baby we want that glow to be shining so we're gonna go up to about 80 maybe 90 percent because we want that glow to be really glowy all right and i mean in this right here this is your blur so if you went up one you see how the blur gets bigger okay we're gonna go take it back down to what it was all right guys pardon the interruption this is gary Ejene, founder of t-shirtdesignschool.com and i come bearing gifts if you're enjoying the video i want you to click the link below and i want you to go to t-shirtdesignschool.com and i want you to get your t-shirt design starter kit all right check it out hey guys welcome to t-shirtdesignschool.com all right so when you get to the first page i just need you to go down first of all check out this site and uh, check out all the great information but i want you to get right down here okay and i want you to simply go in here into your first name into your email and i want you to click this bad boy right here so you can get some awesome awesome stuff this is the t-shirt design starter kit let me show you a little bit about what's going on inside all right okay so once you get in you're gonna get this t-shirt template all right it's a vector based template so you can go in you can make these t-shirts any color you like add your artwork to them so you can get a better idea of what your stuff is gonna look like on an actual t-shirt there's gonna be a whole bunch of these vector artworks that you can go through and you can add your own name logos you can use them as t-shirts as logos anything you want to just kind of get your feet wet in the world of making some designs so you can go in there's a whole bunch of them there's like four of these we also have a, a few distressed patterns to help you give you that that weathered old distressed look to some of your graphics i'm going to be teaching how to use these later also have watercolor brushes so you can go through and add these in your t-shirt and do all type of great things to make things look like you're painting and watercolor we have some textures down here also and we have animals in text all right and with all this stuff i'm going to actually give you the font so you can go and download the fonts and upload them to your system and make it happen capping so make sure you get the t-shirt design starter pack only available at t shirtdesignschool.com all right guys so click the link get on the list get your t-shirt starter kit you'll be put on the t-shirt design school mailing list and if anything comes up i will send some great information to you to help you along your t-shirt design journey and that's it back to the video okay that's fine that's all our job is almost done right there right then and there okay so we're gonna click okay because that looks pretty damn good okay now the only thing that is missing is that if you look at this one right if you look at this one they really kind of captured that neon light look by making some of these like these little see these little points right here where it like it's missing where it's, it's like a, a light so we're going to go right here we're going to take some of these out so what we're going to do is we're going to click right here and we're going to go to our add anchor point tool okay so on some of these points like right here we're going to add a point and then add another point and then press the delete button okay and then we're going to go right here to subtract an anchor point we're going to just subtract that one and subtract that one if we can get it we 
look at there. And then we're going to take this one and go up. So I'm going to do that. If you look right here, I'm going to do it right here, like on these little these little places right here. So I'm about to speed this up right now, but I'm going to go in and just delete these. OK, so watch me work. And there you have it. I mean, it's practically done. I'm just going to do one little thing. This and this right here is just it's like a relationship. You know, it's the little things, baby. So I'm going to capture this. Right. I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. So now we have two lits. But what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go up to our stroke and I'm going to make it thinner. Uh, we're going to go all the way down to about two or three. Okay, three, three, that looks good. And we're going to go see this, this color right here. It's also right here. We're going to click on that. And we're going to make that like a little bit lighter. Not all the way over here, but just like, kind of like we did with that, that glow. Okay. And that, uh, maybe a little bit lighter. That should be good. Okay. And we're going to take that, all right? And we're going to put it on top of the other one. Wow. Now that really gives it that that glow because you got the little thing on the inside and you got the glow and you got the other color that really just takes it to a whole nother level. All right. And there you have it. You just want to take this and you want to copy it. Let's go over to our little crew neck right here and let's paste this bad boy. Well, let's make sure we're on the right. Uh, make sure that we're on the right layer. And this right here is a super pack templates. These are uh, templates of all different types of really wonderful, real looking, realistic, made from real T-shirts templates that you can put your uh, artwork on and you can put on your social media and on your website and all that stuff. So uh, let's go to artwork layer and paste. I'll make it look smaller so it actually fits and looks like. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is a reproduction of neon right in Illustrator. Right, You don't even need Photoshop. You can do it right in Illustrator. Look how realistic that looks. All right. So. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Gary Ejene from Around the Way, founder of Teacher Help Desk and Teacher Design School, showing you guys directly how to make really cool stuff. All right. Remember, go to t-shirtdesignschool.com and get all of your t-shirt design products that help you along your merry way. Okay, guys, make sure that you subscribe and make sure when you subscribe, you click that notification bell so you'll be notified of all the videos as soon as they are uploaded, okay? This channel is here to take your designs and your t-shirt business to a whole nother level. See you on the other side.